Okay, everybody, this is Teets from Teets Informationals, and today we're going to talk about Lifeboat. Uh, Lifeboat, one of the um, great negotiation and very highly thematic games where I guarantee you if you play it right and you're with the right people, you're going to feel like you're on a lifeboat and you're either fighting for your life or you're trying to make sure somebody else doesn't live. Uh, Lifeboat is uh, definitely a very cutthroat game. It's a game of high negotiation. Um, it's a game I don't recommend you start at 1.30 in the morning when you decide, hey, you know what, let's play a game, let's play Lifeboat. Uh, especially if there's other people trying to sleep in the house or the cabin or wherever you're at because it's not going to pan out because there will be a lot of yelling, there will be a lot of screaming, there will be a lot of you blank blanks going on at the table. Um, uh, so drink at your own risk when you play lifeboat. Uh, basically what you're trying to do is there's a bunch of characters. Um, components aren't great. You're probably have to add some components. You'll definitely need some sleeves. You're going to need more of these little fight and thirst tokens. Um, we use, um, you know, different tokens for the thirst and fight. But basically what's happening is everyone's, uh, marooned on this lifeboat. There's the front of the boat and the back of the boat. In the front of the boat, you get provisions, things like weapons, medical kits, food, very important stuff like water. That's going to be in the front. Those are the provisions. Um, if you're in the front, you get to be the first to pick out of the, uh, depending on how many players are playing, on the provisions. And then it goes and caters on the back, all the way to the back. In the back of the boat, there's some navigation, and this is whether you want to get the boat to shore or you want to throw people overboard or make people thirsty or actually um, uh, extra thirsty if they fought, etc., or if they rode. Um, basically what happens is, in addition to that, so everyone's going to be a character. Their character is going to be face up. So in this case, I'd be the captain. Um, and then you're going to get a couple cards. You're going to get a card of someone you love, and you're going to get a card of someone you hate. Uh, your goal is if the person you hate, like for example here, if I hated Frenchie, I would get six points if he dies. So my goal is to make sure that Frenchie goes down. And then uh, in this case, uh, let's say I love the first mate. I get four points if the first mate lives. So I'm going to try to band together the first mate. So basically what happens is you're on this boat, when it's your turn, you pick your, you, everyone picks provisions and everybody goes and turn front to back and you decide what you're gonna do. If you're gonna sit there, if you're gonna row, if you're gonna try to change seats with somebody and that's where the real fun begins. Because if I'm Frenchy and I wanna get to the front of the boat, I might say, hey, I wanna go switch places with Lady Lauren. And Lady Lauren is gonna go, well, I'm not gonna switch places with you and then it becomes a fight. So everyone can jump in and decide, hey, I'm gonna jump in, yeah, I'll fight with you, I'll fight with you. And eventually when all that negotiation stops, either somebody doesn't get to move up or somebody moves up to the front. Um, there's stealing provisions, there's throwing people overboard, there's chum that you can throw in the water, make sharks come, all kinds of stuff's happening in this game. There are a couple expansions, so you can have a lot of fun and bring in two more people. You're going to get the Madame Wong expansion and the Dark Dark Harder expansion. Um, so then you get some cannibalism going on in there. Um, you get, uh, the Dark Dark Harder is the cannibal thing. You get uh, Liquid Courage, which is bringing some liquor onto the, onto the boat to give you uh, some extra courage to do something drastic. And then there's even... Uh, a weather deck which changes the different weathers uh, different weather makes it foggy or, or you know clear or whatever and certain bad things happen um, so when all the violence ensues eventually um, the little birds as you get closer the birds appear when you get to shore whoever is alive um, you get points for whoever's dead you get points for pardon me that was so harsh the way i said that and then there's also things like if you're collecting like lady lauren tries to collect jewels um, sir stephen's collecting paintings you're collecting money there's all different um, little individual goals that you're trying to do so if you're up for a heavy negotiation really fun game it's fun but you gotta be in the right mood for it and you got to play with the right people because definitely people can get their feelings hurt in this game.
But the reason I'm doing this little review on it is because when you talk about theme and you really want to feel like you're being transported by a game, uh, this one can definitely do it. And again, a couple side notes. No, don't play it late at night. Play it when you're, you have an open head because, well, actually, maybe play it late at night. Just be that much more thematic. Actually, play it when you're tired and hungry and haven't eaten anything. And then, you know, you know, have your favorite beverage or whatever. It should be quite a fun time. Um, so, yeah, if you like that kind of game, you should definitely own it. It's good to have in your collection because it's, you know, it's different. But for this type of game, Lifeboat, it's good. Take it easy. Enjoy it.